Okay, guys. I'm going to make my version of Mexican street corn. I don't have everything that's in the authentic recipe at my house. So I'm just going to do the best with what I have. And I put some olive, not olive oil, avocado oil, and about three or four tablespoons of butter. I Gonna, I'm going to take one uh, package of uh, corn and we're just going to brown that up in a skillet and uh, when I get that brown we'll come back and I'll show y'all uh, what else we're going to do. Okay, our corn is getting a little bit of color as you can see there. Cook it as dark as you want it where it's roasted looking. Uh, add some onion and some garlic at that point. Stir your onion, your garlic, your peppers. Um, a lot of people put yellow and red and green bell pepper in at this point. I don't have any, so I'm not adding it. I'm only using what I have at home. So we're just going to let this cook and you can see the brown color well maybe you can't because we're fogging up let me see if i can get that off of there see the brown color that we're getting on our coin that's what we want so it looks like it sorry y'all it's fogging up the lens see our brown color okay we'll be back and i'll show you what else that we're gonna do this don't take but a few minutes and it's really, really good with fresh corn, but I just did not want to take time. I have some whole corn in the freezer. I didn't want to take time to cut it off. So I'm just using my bag. Um, this corn at the store is 10 for 10, 10 for $10 maybe, a dollar a bag, I think is what this corn is. So for a dollar, you can't beat that price. So when I get ready to do the other stuff to this, I'm gonna come back and show you what I'm gonna do. I gotta go out and pick some cilantro. Okay, we got our corn all browned up. Y'all see that? It's got a char on it. It's looking good and it's smelling good. Okay, this is just the onions and the garlic. We browned, charred our corn Usually you put pepper, uh, bell pepper, or whatever, chili pepper, or whatever kind of pepper you have. I don't have any pepper, so I'm not adding it, and that's fine with me, because it's good without it. This is uh, mayonnaise and sour cream. Uh, you can use vegan, uh, whatever you have. This is what they would spread on a roasted ear if you buy it, you know, usually Mexican street corn is, is a roasted ear of corn. So we're going to put this in it and let it melt and get this corn all coated so it'll be like if we were eating it off the cob. Use your vegan mayonnaise, your vegan sour cream, um, you know, whatever you want. Just get it coated good. Get it coated really good. Then we have smoked paprika. I have turmeric, which is usually not put on there, but I'm gonna add it to mine. I have some chopped chives that I'm gonna add to mine. And I have some fresh cilantro out of my garden. You can put jalapeno pepper. You can put cayenne pepper. Um, you can put uh, tahini. You can put uh, ranch. Y'all, I have some tahini up here. And I want to put that on there. And I can't find that. Um, if you have 
that cilantro powder. Y'all, let me find this seasoning and then I'll be back. I thought I had it on the cabinet and I don't. Well, I can't find the tahini, but I have some seasoning salt. And I'm gonna put that on there. Um, and that's it. That's our Mexican corn in a skillet. It's very, very delicious. I can assure you, if you like the Mexican corn on the cob, you will eat this, because it is very, very, very similar to it. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, that's great. Add any kind of pepper you want, like I said, chili peppers, bell peppers, jalapeno peppers. If you want to add peppers, add peppers. Most of these recipes do have peppers when you put it in the skillet, but this is what they put on it. Most of these ingredients, if you get authentic street corn, roasted street corn, this is what's on it. You can't beat it and you don't have to bite it off the cob, so you don't have a messy face. So y'all be blessed, you know you're loved, Oh, y'all, I forgot to put the cheese. I just looked over here and saw my cheese. Um, most of it has a Mexican cheese. Um, y'all, I forget what it's called. Um, similar to Parmesan. And you can put Parmesan on here. It's very good. But I just have a Mexican blend cheese. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there. And there you go. That's our Mexican corn. And uh, anyway, y'all be blessed. Know your love. Jesus loves you more. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Our Mexican street corn, y'all. It's very good. Very good. If you've never tried it, y'all, it's a must try. You can put it in a little plastic container in the refrigerator and it lasts for several days. It's so good and it's good also cold, not just hot. It's good cold, but it can be reheated. It's great with Fritos, uh, Doritos, corn chips, uh, any kind of corn chips, uh, like restaurant salsa chips. Uh, use this as a dip. It's a great dip, y'all, great dip. Great for the summer picnics, a uh, quick lunch, a snack. Y'all try some Mexican street corn. Y'all, I forgot one suggestion, and that's cumin. Cumin is very delicious on this also, if you like cumin. Okay, guys, here's my supper. My air fried zucchini squash, my Mexican corn, and one of my chicken cutlets. Y'all make you a good supper. Be blessed. Know you're loved. Jesus loves you more. And we'll see y'all in the next video. And I'm also going to have some fresh romaine lettuce that I just washed up. And I'm making some uh, yogurt tonight. I'm going to make me some Greek yogurt for this week. <laughs>